Hi, this is Andy Scott with North Shore Apartments. I'm walking into a, a huge one bedroom at 535 Hinman, number three. As we walk in, we see an entry closet straight ahead of us. If we go to our right, we get a glimpse of the kitchen, the bathroom, and further right is the bedroom. To our left is a very big living room with a decorative fireplace and you can just barely see the uh, dining room. Before we go in, take a look at the entry closet, which is really about four feet long. You can see it goes back a little. Two shelves, hanging bar, and it's about two feet deep. So good for coats and for boots. The living room is a big room. It's probably 14 feet across by about 15 feet long. The windows are facing south. They are new windows. See the big radiator and the decorative fireplace. Hardwood floors have just been refinished and are beautiful. It's a decorative fireplace with, a, it's actually a little bit more ornamentation than most of the decorative fireplaces. The walls are a very light slate blue rather than just the creamy white that is typical with apartments. As we go in, again, the windows are facing south and they look into the courtyard. And you can see the little fountain in the courtyard. I'm gonna spin around, give you another look at the living room. So you can see it's just a very big room the decorative fireplace, and from here you can see past the entry and into the bath. As I walk towards the entry, we get a look at a big formal dining room. This is another very big room, probably 12 by 13, something like that. Hardwood floors. This is a light yellow with a white trim. Again, the windows are facing south. You see the radiator. I'm going to walk through the dining room into the butler's pantry, which is a huge butler's pantry. But before I go in, I'm just going to spin around and give you another shot of the dining room so you can really see how big it is. Very nice room. The butler's pantry is a true butler's pantry. And you can see again the hardwood floors. Lots of storage. A uh, little counter space and shelves going up to the top. Again, we have a window facing the back of the building. And then on the other side, we have more storage. So it's just enormous storage. I'll just open up one of the cabinets so you can sort of see what it looks like. And your standard three, uh, three shelves, but these are about a foot deep rather than the maple cabinets tend to be about 10 inches deep. The drawers open easily, very easy to use, and again, there's just enormous amounts of storage here. Open up one of these for you, so you can see it's basically the same on both sides. As we go through the butler's pantry, we get our first look at the kitchen. Past the kitchen is the bath and the bedroom. But here we see a stainless steel sink with a hose attachment for dishes. Storage above and below the sink, a brand new dishwasher, and a newer stove. It's not brand new, but it is squeaky clean. If I walk across, you can see more storage next to the fridge and above the fridge, which is a, a very big fridge. It's about six feet high, so it's bigger than most in the apartment. This window is facing north, but because we're on the third floor, we just get enormous light. If I look at the fridge, see the top is standard uh, uh, freezer section with a couple of shelves to the right. And underneath you have the shelves and you can see the owner's pamphlet and the crisper drawer. Butter dish and shelves to the right again. Again, hardwood floors throughout. The countertops are laminate rather than rock, but they're very clean. We have drawers underneath for storage. And like I was saying before, the standard maple shelving, which is three shelves about 10 inches deep. If we look out the window, 
you'll see the parking lot of the building next door. Next up is the stove, and this is really a clean stove. You can just see how clean this is. And it's a full-size stove, so there's really not much limit to what you want to do here. Super clean, not brand new, but like new. The dishwasher, however, is brand new. We just ran it to make sure it worked, and it does. It's a stainless steel dishwasher, very quiet, very efficient, very effective. The sink, stainless steel, and there's the hose attachment. Very good water pressure, and you can see it drains beautifully. So I'm just going to walk. We have some more storage, like the butler's pantry. And next to it, we have a little closet with shelves in it. Um, and there we go. That's a smaller closet there. As we go out of the kitchen, well, before we go out of the kitchen, I'll give you one more look. So lots of storage, plus the butler's pantry, new dishwasher, newer stove, more storage, and brand new dishwasher. The back door will take you down to... Um, laundry and storage and it is gated downstairs so it's very secure um, as we come out of the uh, kitchen the first room will be the bath before we get to the bath however we do have a linen closet with shelves this is about two feet across and about two feet deep so it's a smaller closet but it's uh, got a lot of shelves so it could store a lot Standard vintage bath with tile floors, pedestal sink, standard toilet. We did reglaze the tub, so the tub's been refinished and is super clean. And you can see the uh, pedestal sink is very clean as well. We do have a medicine cabinet, a couple of shelves, pretty standard stuff. Close that. And again, we look at the shower. Now, the shower head is about 6'2 or 6'3, so you'd have to be pretty tall for that not to be effective. Let's turn on the hot water. Whoops, wasn't ready for that. So you can hear that it's really coming out. You've got terrific water pressure here, and it's draining, it's circling the drain beautifully. So, very nice water pressure, and again, it's just the hot water that I'm interested in. You do have the new windows and a second pressure bar to keep the window frame clean. So you can put two curtains up if you'd like. The tiles are very nice. Give you a close up of the tiles. They're the original tiles, but they're in great shape. So that's the bath. And as we come out of the bath, we can see across into the living room. And I'll just turn around and give you one more look at the bath. Before we go into the last room, which is a big bedroom. This is probably about 11 and a half by 12 and a half, something like that. It's a good sized bedroom. Again, the windows are facing north. Beautiful hardwood floors. We have outlets on a couple of walls. We have the coaxial cable come in right there so you can have internet in the bedroom. And if I walk to the windows, Again, we'll be looking out into the parking lot, which is facing north. And if I swing around, again, you'll get a sense of how big the bedroom is, but that is a big closet in front of us. So I'll walk towards that and open this up. And it doesn't look like a walk-in closet because it's only about two feet deep, but it goes almost the length of the room. I mean, it's like, it's got to be the better part of 12 feet long, so you can really put a lot here. Two shelves on either side, the hanging bar goes the whole way. Just a very effective closet. Um, so we'll close that up. Again, take one more look at the bedroom, windows facing north. And we'll head out past the bath, last look at the kitchen, take one more look at the living room, which is contiguous with the dining room, and we're back at the front door. Thank you for watching.